Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to technology explore my name is Usman Chaudhary and in previous videos we had learned all these tabs in SOLIDWORKS uh, parts modeling and uh, from this video we will start learning SOLIDWORKS assemblies so to start SOLIDWORKS assemblies click on new button here and then here we had uh, the option assembly click on it and then press ok button now here you can see uh, we had uh, a window like this and uh, uh, this is the assembly so the basic um, uh, the basic commands in SOLIDWORKS assemblies is mate so at the moment you can see here mate option is turned off to turn it on you must have some parts in the assembly so to insert the parts click on insert component button here and uh, then select browse or automatically it will be opened now uh, import the parts in the assembly so here we had uh, uh, the parts and we are going to assemble them uh, in SOLIDWORKS assembly you can import one by one and you can also import all the all these parts by pressing and holding control key from your keyboard then selecting uh, multiple number of parts and then select open so there is another way to import the uh, parts in the SOLIDWORKS assemblies so let me show you that uh, way so here as you can see we had um, uh, the, uh, the uh, window opened uh, separately containing all these parts to import all these parts you can also click and drag one by one and you can also select multiple number of parts and then import them into the assembly like this So here you can see we had multiple number of parts and we can click and drag them. So as you can see here I, I am unable to move this parts because uh, this is fixed. To make it float right click on it then from here select float. To make uh, any part fixed, right click on that part and then from here select fix. So now you can see here the mate option is turned on. So if I click on mate option then we have uh, uh, standard mates, then advanced mates and mechanical mates. So in this video I will discover uh, all the standard mates one by one. So first of all uh, we have a coincident mate. So uh, let me show you what how uh, how this uh, coincident mate works. So uh, as it is clear clear from the word coincident, uh, if you want to make this face and this face um, merged together, uh, the uh, coincident mate is used. To use this mate, click on the uh, this face, then a window like this will be appeared. So from here, select mate then select this face so here you can see the system has automatically detected the type of mate which is coincident you can change the type of mate by choosing uh, any of these option so press ok button again press ok button there is another way to make a coincident mate so to use the uh, to to, to uh, make the consistent mate in the other um, in other way press and hold control key from your keyboard then select this face and this face now release the control key and you will see a window like uh, this will be appeared on your screen so here are the types of mates you can select your desired type of mate so let me select coincident mate so now once again I am going to make a coincident mate for these two faces. Press and hold control key then select both these faces. Now release the control key and from here select coincident mate. So here you can see now uh, we had uh, assembled uh, these two plates together. Now the next type of uh, standard mate 
is uh, parallel made so for example i have this part and uh, i am going to make uh, this face parallel with this face so uh, let me show you if i uh, press the mouse wheel and then rotate or uh, move my mouse then whole assembly will be rotated like this but um, in case i if i want to rotate only this part then how i uh, can i do that so uh, so to do that right click on and hold the mouse key right click and hold mouse key and then drag your mouse so here you can see uh, the whole part uh, the only this part is uh, going to rotate and the other uh, assembly is um, fixed so now uh, at the moment uh, for example i am going to make uh, this face parallel to this face to do that click on the, this face then select made then from here select this face so uh, system had has detected this um, coincident mid but uh, i'm going to make it parallel so select parallel from here or you can also select parallel from here so now you can see the both these faces are parallel once again making a parallel mid by using using another way so press and hold control key select this face then this face release the control key then from here select parallel so this was the parallel mate and one once again making the parallel mate for this face and this face press and hold control key select this face and this face release the control key and from here select parallel now one more thing that um, the mates we had applied are showed here so these are the mates that we had applied to this assembly but uh, in case if uh, i i'm going to know the mates for only for this part to know the these mates specifically for this part click on this part and then from here select view mates so these three uh, mates are created only for uh, this part if you want to edit these mates again view mates then from here select or click on this mate then you you will see a window like this then from here select edit feature so from here you can select perpendicular or parallel now uh, if i want to delete uh, these um, mates parallel mates just right click on this mate and then from here delete now next type of uh, uh, in the standard mates uh, is uh, perpendicular mate so let me show you uh, for example i am going to make this face perpendicular to this face so for that right, uh, press and hold control key and then select this face and then this face release the control key and then from here select perpendicular mate so this is how we can uh, we can apply perpendicular mate to our uh, parts after the perpendicular mate uh, we have tangent mate then concentric mate so let me show you uh, what is the tangent mate so usually the tangent mate uh, is used uh, for uh, like circular type or cylindrical type parts so as you can see here we have this shaft and uh, i am going to make this face tangent to this face or uh, to do that click on this face then from here select mate then select this face so here you can see the system had automatically um, selected the tangent mate and if you press ok button then this mate will be applied 
Similarly, you can uh, use the tangent mate for both circular faces. So for that, press and hold control key, then select this face and this face. Now release the control key and from here select tangent mate. So here you can see both these faces are tangent to each other. Now let me delete these tangent mates. So uh, one way is that right click on this tangent mate and then delete it. The other way is that click on this part then from here select view mates. Then um, uh, you will see this window and from here delete the, both these tangent mates. So after the, after the tangent mate, we have a concentric mate. So basically concentric mate is uh, mostly used to, um, uh, to assemble the shafts in the boards or uh, like bearings. Uh, so as you can see, we have to insert uh, this shaft into this, um, this hole of this disc. So for that, click on this um, face. Then select mate then select this face so here you can see uh, both uh, the shaft and this board or this hole is aligned so after that we have uh, um, we have this flip mate alignment option so if I press this option then you you will see and then we have the lock rotation option uh, the lock rotation option is used to lock the rotation of this part along with this part. So if I uh, check this option then press OK button then press OK button. If I try to rotate this part like uh, um, if I make this fully fixed then I will make um, mate concentric mate with this uh, pulley now let me show you if I rotate this shaft then you can see whole uh, both these parts are rotating now let me show you uh, another thing that this uh, this uh, this big do dot is showing that this concentric mate is locked and this um, um, this hole is showing that the concentric mate is not locked so if I click on this concentric mate then select edit feature uncheck this option lock rotation then press ok button again press ok button now if I rotate this part so here you can see uh, only the shaft is rotating but this disc is stationary then we have um, the uh, distance mate and angle mate so uh, uh, if I'm going to uh, the distance mate is basically uh, is used to make some distance between the components so um, for example this phase has the this phase has the distance of 10 millimeter from this phase so to apply this distance click on this uh, face then select mate then select this face so now uh, click on this distance mate then type 10 millimeter or 10 then if you want uh, to make the distance on this side check this option flip uh, flip dimension and press ok button Similarly, uh, you can also apply the distance mate by pressing and holding control key from your keyboard then select this face and let's say uh, I'm going to add the distance of 10 millimeter between both these faces. So press and hold control key from your keyboard then select this face and this face. Release the control key and then from here select distance mate. Now type here distance uh, let's say 10 millimeter. And if you want to flip the dimension, um, uh, click on this option, flip dimension. Then press OK button. Now next uh, mate in standard, um, we have the angle mate. So for that, um, um, let's assemble both these parts together.
first of all make a coincident mate of this face with this face so now press ok button now um, as you can see both these parts are uh, in um, in 90 degree but i am going to add the angle between this face and this face uh, 30 degree so for that click this face then select mate then select this face then from here select angle and now you can type here 30 angle if you want to flip alignment click on this option and you can also use uh, mate alignment from here then press ok button then press ok button so this was the angle mate and um, I think this is enough for this video and inshallah in the next video I will uh, discover the advanced mates and in the advanced mates we will talk on width mate, path mate and uh, distance log and angle log so see, stay tuned and thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this channel